I got a package. It's right here. Today, we're gonna talk about what's inside. Yes, 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 this card here paid me $1,000 to cheat on my favorite credit cards, including my favorite credit card that is currently giving me 4.5% back on everything, not just dining or travel, on everything for the first year. We're gonna go through that and much more in this video, so make sure to stay tuned to the end. And heck, let's go ahead and get started because I am dying to open that cheater's credit card box. And no, obviously it's not actually the cheater's credit card box, but I've been dying to make this video because I've been dying to open this. And I feel a box inside. I know this is an envelope for those critical comments that I usually get. But first things first, let's give you a rundown of the credit cards that I'm currently using. We'll start with the City Double Cash card that both Lauren and I each had an account for. Yep, that card we are no longer using. That's because after they got rid of the purchase price protections, the travel protections, the car rental protection, and other protections, the card was pretty dang useless for me, even though it did offer a nice 2% back. However, now, there are better options. Enter the Chase Freedom Unlimited card. The Chase Freedom Unlimited card for the first year that you have the card will give you 3% back for the first year up to $20,000 in expenses. That 3% back can then be amplified using the Chase Sapphire Reserve Travel Program where you redeem your points through Chase's Ultimate Rewards Travel System. And that means on Everything that you swipe that credit card on, you get 4.5% back as long as you redeem it for travel. Otherwise, you get that 3% back. Since Lauren and I do travel, we actually each opened up one of these accounts, which means each of us are getting 4.5% back on everything using this card for one year. Thinking about this, it would have probably been more strategic had we both opened the card one after the other rather than both at the same time. That is Kevin for one year, say 2000. 19 to 20, and then Lauren from 20 to 21. The Chase Freedom Unlimited features a no annual fee, and what's beautiful about this is you also get a cash back bonus if you spend $500 within the first three months. This is the card that should be in everybody's wallet. Now, while I really like the Chase platform for travel, if you're not going to end up traveling, just go ahead and use the Apple Card, which I have as well. However, I'm not using the Apple Card because, yes, I use this Chase Freedom Card instead. Which if you're not planning on traveling much, get the Chase Freedom Unlimited anyway because you get that juicy 3% for the first year and it's no annual fee after that plus you get that sign up bonus. Now while the Chase Freedom Unlimited card is great for 4.5% back on everything when you redeem it towards travel for the first year and then 2.25% thereafter, there is another Chase Freedom card you might also consider. The regular Chase Freedom card which we also use, gives you five to seven and a half percent back, depending on a revolving sort of list of categories that update every three months. This quarter, you can use Chase Pay, PayPal, or spend money at department stores, and you'll get that seven and a half percent back. In case you don't know, Chase Pay is actually an app you can download on your phone and you use it much like the Starbucks app at Starbucks, except now you could be getting seven and a half percent back. The funny thing is, Chase Pay actually works at Starbucks, Shell, and many other retailers. So check out Chase Pay as well. Then I like to use the Chase Inc. Business Cash Card. This gives you 7.5% back on any kind of TV, internet, or phone services. Now, unfortunately, that does not mean you can get 7.5% back financing the new iPhone. You should instead use the Apple Card and get 3% back on your payments for your new iPhone. Of course, unless you're using the Chase Freedom Unlimited Card, then you should be milking the 4.5% as much as as possible during that first year. The Chase Inc. Business Cash Card has a nice bonus going on right now as well. If you spend $3,000 within the first three months, you get $500 back, which is not bad. Obviously, spending $500 and getting $250 back with the Chase Freedom Unlimited Card is pretty dang epic, though. Then, of course, I use the Chase Sapphire Reserve, which makes all of these extra rewards possible. This rewards card will give me 4.5% back 
on hotels, flights, travel, and dining, and enables all of my other cards to get that bonus redemption value. Out of all my credit cards, this is the only one that actually has an annual fee that I have to pay. It's about $150 after I use my airline and Uber credits. Then I have a Chase Amazon Prime card, which obviously I use for 5% off Amazon, and when I do shop at Whole Foods, which is kind of rare, but when I do, I use it at Whole Foods as well. Then we have a Target 5% off card, and the, of course, Lowe's American Express credit card to make sure I get that sweet 6.9% off Lowe's purchases and it lets me sneak into that special program I talk about in the real estate investing course, which is how you can sign up to save 15 to 25% on your purchases by having this card and then following some very, very simple steps. And isn't that just the perfect place to mention that you should use coupon code 10XTheFed for 22% off the real estate investing course, the real estate aging course, and of course the in-person crash courses. Next stop is Miami, and I cannot wait to see you there. By the way, you could email me for a plus one coupon to any of the in-person events if you want to bring somebody with you. Now that's the summary of cards that I'm currently using. I'm not using any kind of debit cards. I'm not using any other kind of cards. I do have some older cards that I just don't mention. I just leave them open. I make sure they're not collecting any kind of fees and I just leave them there because I don't like closing accounts like the city, a double cash card, but those are just going to kind of stay in purgatory because these are my main cards. Well then enter this card. It's weird. I kind of feel nervous opening this card. Like I've been waiting to do this for so long yet. I kept making other videos instead, but um, here it is. Mm. All right. Well, this is actually this is kind of cool. It's kind of like a soft velvety kind of feel to it. Um, it's actually kind of really nice of a box. I almost kind of feel bad tearing this. Ta-da! It is the American Express Platinum card that paid me $1,000 to cheat on my Chase Armada of cards. I know some people like to call it the Chase Trifecta, but I call it the Chase Armada. Now, something that's actually kind of cool about this particular card is it says member since 2016, and that's only because I've been a member of, I guess, American Express, thanks to the Lowe's card. So that's kind of cool, makes me feel a little bit more special. It's also a metal card, much like the Apple card. Let's just go ahead and do like a comparison drop test on these. So this is gonna be the Apple card drop test. Hoo -hoo -hoo, that's pretty good. Uh, and then the Platinum. Oh gosh. Oh man, Apple takes the cake on that. Listen to that, that is ridiculous. Oh, that sounds plastic. It sounds like it's causing damage. Now let me say here, the reason I got the American Express a platinum card is because yeah, the card does cost $550, which really kind of upset me because I don't like annual fees, but because I've been traveling a lot lately, especially to those real estate investing crash courses, and I'm spending money on those kind of conference rooms, which conferences, by the way, at hotels are really expensive, but it puts on a nice quality feeling for everybody. Uh, so the card kind of started making sense because I looked, I go, $200 in annual Uber credits, $200 in airline credits, and $150 in GoGo in-flight wireless access so I can keep responding to your guys' comments. On top of that, now I also get access to the American Express Centurion Lounge and the Delta Sky Club Lounge. This card does come with the priority pass as well, but I already had priority pass from the Chase Sapphire Reserve. However, these extra lounges will be pretty nice. The American Express Platinum card also has probably Probably the best purchase protection for anything that you buy, up to $10,000 in purchase protection in case something gets stolen or lost or damaged, which is excellent. And if you happen to like Hilton or Marriott, you also get some bonus upgrades with Hilton and Marriott's Bonvoy program. However, those hotels tend to be a little bit more expensive. And Lauren keeps reminding me, Kevin, stop trying to stay at expensive hotels just because they're part of the Platinum Rewards.
rewards program, okay? We still have to be frugal. And I mean, she has a point, but I will say I would not use the card for renting a car because it only offers you a secondary car coverage protection, which means you have to put a claim in through your regular insurance as well, which is a little bit of a hassle. You could instead use the Chase Inc. Business Cash card to get primary coverage or the Chase Sapphire Reserve card, which will also give you primary car coverage for renting a car. So that means you don't have to pay for those car rental insurances. Obviously, this is just a YouTube video, so everything you hear here, make sure you verify it by reading your card member agreements and your benefit guides. Ah, nothing like eight cent iced coffee. Hmm. Now, what about actually redeeming all of these points? Because the points don't mean anything unless you can actually redeem them. Well, when it comes to Chase, it's pretty straightforward. You go to their ultimate rewards platform, and then you can shop for flights, airlines, and experiences. What I like to do is I usually pull up a flight or a hotel booking confirmation with the website directly that I want to go through. Then I make sure I can get the same exact price on a Chase Ultimate Travels website. That way I know I'm getting the perfect conversion for my points and I'm actually maximizing the points that I'm getting and then I will spend those travel points. Chase makes this pretty dang easy and that's why point for point with a Chase, every point tends to be worth at least that one cent because you're actually getting point for point conversions. That is one point is one penny. Now I'm not 100% certain about this yet, but I did a little bit of research on valuepenguin.com and it seems like the American Express rewards are a little bit more complicated to use and they're a little bit more tricky for actually getting your value. See, the cool thing about the American Express card is they say that you get 5% when you book flights and hotels with the card, which seems better than the 4.5% that you would get with Chase's Sapphire Reserve. However, when it comes to redeeming these points, it can be a little bit more complicated. You generally only get a one to one conversion on the American Express points if you buy flights. If you want to book hotels, you usually have to transfer these points to the partner websites like Marriott or Hilton or the other partner websites and then make sure that you're getting the equal one for one conversion because some websites are only going to give you 70% of the value of your points, which is kind of like instead of getting 5% back, getting 3.5% back, which is not as ideal. So a little bit tricky, Platinum, but to me, this card is free, again, because of that $200 Uber credit, the $200 airline credit, and the $150 GoGo in-flight credit. Now, before I talk about how I got paid $1,000 to open this credit card and how you can as well, well, make sure you join my course because you're missing out in life if you're not a part of the course. I've never had a single soul join the course and go, man, I could just Google this info. Not a single person has ever said that because most of the stuff in there is stuff that actually comes from street real estate that you only know being a real estate broker who also invests and is a little bit creative like I am. <laughs> But I really just wanna get out some honorable mentions before I talk about getting paid for this card and how you can as well. The honorable mentions are the Amex Gold Card. The Gold Card costs $250 annually, but you get $100 in airline credits and $120 towards a restaurants like Cheesecake Factory. So if you already spend money here, the card might only cost you $30. At that point, the card is kind of cool because it does give you 4% back on dining and groceries. But to me, honestly, the Amex Gold is a pass because I'd rather just use the Chase Freedom Unlimited. I'll get my 2.25%. Yes, I know I'm leaving 1.75% on the table, but it's just a little bit too complicated. And for me to even make up that $30 fee, I'd have to spend $2,000 a year in groceries. So I'm gonna stick with fee-free cards for my groceries for now. Although then of course, there is the Amex Cash Preferred card, which will actually give you six percent on groceries, which is pretty dang incredible. However, this card costs $95 and does not give you any kind of airline credits or a restaurant credits. Unfortunately for me, that means I'd have to spend $2,533 before I'd break even on this card. And again, for that complexity, I'll just stick with the Chase Freedom Unlimited card because there is a balance to having a manageable amount of credit cards and too many credit cards. 
And I'll tell ya, I feel like I'm already borderline obsessed. So how the heck did I get paid $1,000 to open this card? When you open the American Express a Platinum card, you usually get an offer of anywhere between 50 to 60,000 in bonus points when you spend anywhere between 15 to $25,000 in the card within the first usually three months, which is a big spend within the first period. But for some people, certain businesses, certain companies, this is possible. A lot of sole proprietors can even do this, especially if they're like contractors buying lots of materials and spending. So if you have a big spend coming up, this could be an interesting opportunity for you. However, what you really want to look for is the 100,000 bonus point offer. And right now, and again, I, I promise you this is not sponsored. Uh, it just sounds, this whole video sounds like it's sponsored by Chase and Amex. I'm telling you, it sounds whatever. But anyway, until September 25th, you can use the link below to apply for the Amex Platinum card and get 100,000 bonus points when you open the card. That is equal to roughly a $1,000 plane ticket or four $250 plane tickets or 10 $100 plane tickets. <laughs> now, I have no idea why that special offer ends on September 25th. And yes, I realize I'm posting this video on September 24th, so I'm sorry. I only gave you 48 hours to click the link down below. But hey, you have until September 30th to join my courses. <laughs> 10X the Fed, folks. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one, and until next time. Man, it just doesn't sound as good as the Apple card.